Hello and welcome to the fourth in the series of tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about adding more details to a pattern. So I'd like to start by showing you uh, a kind of line that is a little bit different from the others, which is an internal line. So with a piece selected, you can double click on the piece and you can create a line just like you would in the application normally. The difference is that this line uh, while being able to be manipulated itself will actually move with the piece when you move the piece. So if I move that piece, the line moves with it. However, I can move that line on its own. Um, this can be useful for things like adding internal seams, uh, and, uh, internal darts, or, or pocket details, that kind of thing. The controls on the line can also be manipulated in the same way to be very precise and um, you can create exactly what you want. Uh, another aspect of uh, detailing is adding text. So we have a text button here on the right, on the left, sorry. And that just adds a bit of text somewhere on the screen. I can use that to um, update the text that I want. I can drag it using that orange handle. And I can also update the size of it using these point controls here on the left. So that's handy for adding textual details to your pattern. Another aspect is uh, drill holes. Now drill holes um, are informative for how to place things like pockets. So there's a button here on the right hand side where you can click add drill hole. Once you've added a drill hole it'll appear in the center of the piece and you can drag it to where you'd like it to be. Drill holes can also be placed using these precise controls, just like everything else in Pattern Aid. The final piece that I will show you is uh, called walking seams. Now this is a common concept in, um, in uh, software for pattern making is the ability to verify that seams actually match up. So for the example I'm going to add a notch to that line and I'm going to add a notch to this line and we're going to ensure that those two notches line up on that shoulder piece there. With that line selected I can click the walk button here and then I click the, it gives me instructions, select the seam to verify against and I click the the other seam that I'd like to, to walk against. That aligns my piece and you can see that it starts um, rotating against its walked seam. Play controls appear down here in, in the bottom right and these you can simply let them play or you can just modify them yourself by dragging that control panel, that, that handle. I can see that my um, uh, da, uh, my notch there is definitely in the wrong place so I'm going to move it along the line using these controls here. The AC control is saying that it's going to move it closer towards that point because that point is labelled AC. This point is labelled AA so my controls here allow me to shuffle between AC and AA to, to press, precisely place it where you want. Deselect all that and I can see that I have my uh, notches in the right place now, but I can also see that my uh, line here is a little bit shorter, so I'm going to make that a little bit longer, and just for the sake of it, I'm going to um, make it precisely 21 centimeters, and this one as well, I'm going to make 21 centimeters. Now I can know that my lines are exactly the same length, my notches are in the right place, so I know my, my seam is, uh, is good. When I'm done, I can click the Done button here, and that will uh, put the piece back in its original place, but with the changes that we've just made. That's how you can uh, add details and verify seams in Pattern Aid. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for listening.